All right, guys, this is where we get to take our photography up a notch. We've learned about basics. We've learned about manual settings. Now we're going to talk about some fun stuff that are going to take your photography from just okay to pretty freaking awesome. Stay tuned. I'm Maven. Welcome to my channel where I get to teach you how to up your photo game and create a business that not only you love but your clients will love and it will make you have a dance party every single day. So this is video number three in a series that we've been doing about photo basics. We've already covered how to get started with gear and software and all of that fun stuff. We've also done a video on manual settings, which can be really, really scary, but it's all going to make sense because today we're talking about lighting. Lighting. Now, lighting is probably my favorite thing to talk about because it's what you utilize to create your photograph. And you can either utilize it really well and play with light and know how to take any lighting situation and make it fabulous or you can just be scared of it and run away and just look for shade for the rest of your life. I mean that's up to you. Some of that has to do with aesthetic but uh, for me I love light. If you look at my wedding photographs it's all about light 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 light. It's so fun and pretty and can create some gorgeous drama and interest and just ah. Uh, Lighting is my happy place, people. Y'all, if we didn't have light, you couldn't take photographs. So it's better to master it and know all of your lighting situations and what to do in them. So let's start off with the two different kinds of lighting that you're pretty much gonna have consistently. These are overarching lighting situations, not specific lighting situations, which we'll get into in a moment. So you're going to have your daylight, which is pretty self-explanatory. Light that's taken during the day. And then you're also going to have ambient light. Now ambient light is available light around you but does not come from the sun. So you're going to have overhead lights, you're going to have lamps, you're going to have flash, you're going to have all of these different things available to you but they're not necessarily daylight. So today we're going to focus mostly on the daylight situations because as you know the light changes throughout the day and there are certain times of the day where the light is much easier to work with and there are times of day that people like to run away and not take photographs and if you don't know what you're doing it can be a complete disaster. So the first lighting situation I want to talk about is shade. Shade is usually a safe bet. 99.9% .9 of the time you can get a good photograph if you stick somebody in shade because it doesn't change. It's a, usually a good quality of light and it stays the same, especially if it's under a building or a solid amount of shade where like there's no sunspots coming through. You want it nice and solid and even because it's going to give you consistent, beautiful light. There's nothing wrong with shade, it's beautiful, and it's usually a really great place to start if the sun scares you. Now what usually scares people is mid-morning, midday light. That is when the sun is almost directly over your head. And if you've looked at photographs when it's bright sun midday, a lot of times people have those dark raccoon eyes. There's blown out highlights everywhere people just don't look very good. And most people tend to stay away from shooting photographs at this time of day. Now I will tell you, it is possible to take really great photographs in midday sun. You just need to know how to utilize it. My general rule of thumb, and you'll hear this throughout the video, is keeping your subject between you and the sun. So that means if I'm here with my camera, and you are the sun, somewhere in between us is going to be my subject.
Now I have broken this rule, but I don't tend to break it at midday. Midday, when I do that, people get really, really squinty because they're facing the sun and they tend to be like this in a lot of photographs. But if their backs are to the sun, which even at midday, there, the sun is slightly one way or the other, you will find that there is a area where you can put the, your subject in between you and the sun. Now, the light will still be hitting a lot of the top and the back of their heads, but their faces will be in shadow, and that is what you're exposing for. You're going to take those manual settings and expose for the face, unless they're wearing a white dress, but that's a whole other conversation we'll get to down the road. The time of day that most photographers love to shoot is called golden hour. And that is roughly two hours before sunset where the light is buttery and golden and beautiful. Shadows aren't as harsh, they're really long. People can look towards the sun and not have to squint. Like it is a beautiful time of day to photograph and that is when most people choose to. Now looking for light in any situation is really important. One of the things that we do a lot is we take photos inside but using a single window as our light. Now depending on how you have your subject in combination with this window can create a lot of different effects and I encourage you to play with that but you can do everything from beautiful front lit photograph, side lit, silhouette, all sorts of fun things and a window can be a really great way to practice some lighting because a lot of times the light that's coming in a window is very soft and elegant and you're not dealing with a whole lot of harsh lines. Sometimes, depending on what time of day it is, you are, and that can be even cooler to create different artistic lines and directionals and all sorts of fun. It's just fun to play with window light. I encourage you to do so. And then also, in tandem with window light, look for available light. If you don't have a flash to play with, what about that lamp in the corner? What about the overhead canned light? Can you create something really interesting with just the available light that is in the room? And lastly, there is flash. And flash is a whole other beast that we will be getting into at some point on this channel. I promise you, we're gonna do a whole series just on flash. but it's a fantastic way for you to create your own vision. If you don't have the sun creating backlight, you can use flash to do that. If you need to light somebody up against a really cool background, you can use flash to do that. Flash is an incredibly powerful tool that you can utilize to create some incredible images. And there you have it. That is the basic overview of lighting situations. The further we go into this, guys, the more we're gonna talk about specific lighting situations. But hopefully this will give you an idea of what you're interested in shooting, what you want, what you can do during different parts of the day with your light. It'll allow the creative juices in your brain to get going. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you with another video next week. Okay, love you, bye.